Huh, this feels familiar. Definitely familiar. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we're live. Yeah, races. The last video reached to the goal of 500 likes. Thanks, everyone. I mean it. Get back to work on no smoke leaf for you. Ugh. Like we said before, feel free to post any races we have ever missed and should talk about it. Perhaps if we reach a thousand likes on this video, we can do a part three. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon because YouTube is stupid like that. And of course, I need to remind you that every 10 likes we get, we'll drop a raider into an exact hive. 100, we might give that raider a gun. Maybe. It depends. We got a budget around here, okay? How about we share today's sponsor? while we get this cleaned up. Wait, clean up bots, get over here. Ah! All right, first things first, gotta get this out of the way. Okay, we good? Am I out of the book of grudges now? First things first, we got the Rim Hammer, the end time set of mods by a sick boy, we, which gives you items from Warhammer, Fantasy, not 40k, tabletop games, and the races of the dwarves and beast men. I've mentioned before in the medieval playthrough guide why dwarves are a good fit. They pull their weight by being bearded badasses complete with war axes and war machines. The beast men also get their own tech and events like the dwarves here, so definitely a well thought out race. Alright, now play the video of them fighting. Always nice to see bloodshed on the rim. Keeps the plants healthy. But do you know what aren't plants? Fungus. Seriously. Yeah, mushrooms are weird. What are they? They aren't plants or animals. So what happens when you get a fungus person? I mean, I suppose what I'm trying to lead to is one of the most cursed mods of all. People who are terrified of mushroom people, look away now. Well... I'm now terrified. What madman would create such a horrible monstrosities? Well, what would be Druid Fuzzy and you with the research to create terrifying weapons? Yeah, this is a race of fungus creatures of many shapes and sizes and many flavors of nightmare fuel because this species hates humanity. They don't care if they kill other humans. Hell, they love human flesh and use it and the organs of humans for their weaponry. Clearly dangerous war crime committing people, so yeah, they fit on the rim just perfectly. Word of advice if you play them, they hate the cold. Even more than humans, I think. But that one we tried to enter View. That didn't work out so well. Alright, let's move on to something less terrifying. Alright, hey, remember the last time when I said you don't want angry furries at your door? Well, meet this gross thing. Rabby the Moon Rabbit Race. Yep, this is, in fact, what it's called. It says right here in the notes. Mm hmm These rabbits may look cute and adorable, but don't let that fool you. They have gun skills the likes of which a normal human can't comprehend. They are great at research, good at construction, awesome shots, and good medics. Only problem is that they are a bit slow in the hauling and mining department, but hey, we got bots for that. I should also mention they aren't very good at handling psychic droning and can snap at any moment. Remember the angry furries? Yeah, keep these bunny girls happy. They might not be good at melee combat, but that doesn't mean you want a lap and beating you up, especially when they run out of their special moon crack. The rabbies are users of this drug. That is the equivalent of Luciferium, so if you do decide to play with them, know what you are getting yourselves into. You can learn how to refine more and even into a tasty tea that is more fun than raw planetarium, along with new arms and armor for your lap and army. Also know this mod is still in development and is Korean, but there is an English patch so you can still play with it, unless you can speak Korean in which case, hey, good for you. They're thinking about angry furries at your door. Yeah, why not? More furry races. Bring on more angry furries at the door. Hmm, need a t-shirt for that. The Leany Fox race, plain and simple, a race of vulpine-based pawns. Though this mod does include some furniture, so you get more than furry bait. Same with some weapons, but don't expect the high material-grade weaponry of the rabbies. So these foxes are medieval, and now I'm regretting not mentioning them in our medieval mod. I should mention this mod does have support with the Vulpine race mod, so hey, now you can have even more foxes. In fact, you know what? Let's throw in another fox, Farian Race, along with the Pirate Faction add-on and the Farian Story add-on. Now you get agile fox people who are good with many more brainy stuffs, but not so good with physical-wise stuffs, stuffs. But when you have a board of pet foxes, you can deal with any threats. And with Pirate Factions, you can have angry furries at your doors or try to make friends with them. It's all up to you. Know what the best part is? This isn't even the only fox race you can put in. Rimbraxian, who, based on a popular fox Pokemon, a simple enough race mod with a cool fire staff and incinerator SMG because they fire Pokemon. Let's face it, Rimworld doesn't have enough flaming raiders. With all these foxes, now you can indeed worship the fox. Who would have thought there would be four different race mods with foxes? Pretty cool. Wonder what other beast races there are. Oh, come on. And there is even a fox man in there. Yeah, Beastman Tribes is a great mod if you want to really add diversity to your colony because with all the different tribes you recruit for your species, your colonies aren't going to look the same after this. I should also mention each one of these animal folk have their own quirks 
folks in terms of what they excel at or common traits they tend to spawn with. Like the elephant men have annoying voices for being too loud, pig and raccoon men can be greedy, elk folk are good fighters and like to start brawls. There are a lot of nuances with this race set. Great for low tech playthroughs or if you want a tribal faction to slaughter and turn into can be. But say you want a mod that does all that but doesn't add a bunch of crazy tribals, the pawn morpho is for you. This is a mod for the mad scientist, a fairy within us. This is a mod that body peers should stay away from because there is no way you can play through this without getting something turning your pawns into horrible island doctor, maru, animal, human hybrids. Blah. Be it from mad scientist guns or a strange meteor with a lovely glow, your pawns will begin to shift and change into animal hybrids. This can be pretty good or bad depending on the pawn or the animal traits. Improving speed or certain skills like mining or planting but also ruining some traits. And of course some pawns take umbrage with being a mutant so moods can go down faster than at an all you can eat nutrient paste buffet. There is also an add-on to complement the vanilla expanded insectoids so you or your enemy pawns can turn into those insectoids and get buffs or debuffs based on their new parts of body. The good news is you can craft reversing serums, but save them for your pawns. It's more hilarious to see prisoners turn into cows which can use for milk or meat. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you think it's still cannibalism to eat these pawns if they fully turn into animals. I'm going to need some second opinions on this. Now, what doesn't need a second opinion is my opinion on robots. Robots are cool, except when they're trying to kill you. Which is why the good people at Saturn Robotic Systems will be able to provide you with cool rimsec security robots provided by Shake the Spear. This mod is looking to be another awesome robotic race mod. Unlike other robot mods, you can't build normally any bots, just some of the equipment to maintain them like the maintenance station and the cool turrets that come included in this mod. You can actually make these droids, but at a cost. You have to buy the assembly bench from the trader ships after all trade secrets and all. Can't let any colony have access to these darn delightfully diligent defender droids. I do like the design of them and the new weaponry. A very good sci-fi look. Great for a colony going into high tech. Also, they do appear to be working on even more to this mod, so keep an eye out for more add-ons. We might go into further details in a future video, but one more thing. This race is compatible with Save Our Ship, so now you can have super fighting space robots in space so what's next seriously brent all right all right so the next race is the kijin mod based on the ogre demons of japan or oni they are known for their two gigantic horns yeah look what did you think i was talking about they are based on the oni who have those horns in their pictures the kiji are a race of ancient ogre like humanoids whose kingdom kind of got wrecked by some pirates boy do i feel that so now you get to help them regain their empire complete with a game ending scenario that's right this is one of the rare mods where you can end the game without going to space kissing the butts of a royal or summoning an eldritch horn Instead, just declare yourself the rightful ruler and hold the lion and boom, you win. This mod also comes with new buildings, weapons, and armor. Always nice when a race mod adds more flavor like that. More race mods need to do that. Hint, hint. These pawns will definitely pull their own weight with stronger bodies and the ability to work faster than a normal human, though they do get pretty hungry thanks to that. Oh, and they have a refined palate. They hate raw or terrible food, so watch out for that. Well, that should be all the races for today's episode. Yep, no need to do any more races for this video. Well, I guess I gotta talk about another Warhammer mod, actually a lot more, but hey, one more for now. The Adaptus Mechanus Omri by Oglis, along with the add-on mods. First off, the Adaptus Mechanus, or the Tech Priest Equipment mod, is based on the Warhammer 40k faction of, well, the Adaptus Mechanus, not to get too deep into the lore. Basically, they work with Imperium of Man, making all their cool machines, but they do their own thing, worshipping technology, so transhumanists will feel right at home being all churned up. But that's not why I mentioned this mod, oh no. There is more stuff to download. First, First, you can download the race mods with this Eldar, the Tao and Kroot, and everyone's favorite orcs, with a K. That is extremely important. Each of these race mods will include weapons and armor from their respective lures, so if you are a Warhammer fan, you will know what weapon you want to use. And by the way, orcs and fungus in this universe. No joke there. Just wanted to share because 40k lore can be so dark and weird and funny all at once, more so when you include the Magnos, a xenobiologist mod, which will add factions and even more stuff to fight. Of course, most of them will want to kill you, none more so than the forces of chaos led by this lovely fellow known as Zetch. I've heard it pronounced Zetch. He is one of many chaotic entities that will send horrors at your pawns, kind of like another master of Eldritch Horror. Go on, Shu. This video has been enough cursed stuff as it is. Yeah, that's pretty bad. These guys will ruin your day. If you don't plan ahead good defenses, you know what else ruins your day? Space Machine Egyptians, because this mod includes the Necrons. Ever wanted to fight powerful machines who want to destroy all life due to lore reasons? Too bad. They're coming for you anyway. Oh, and they reanimate. If you don't deal with the 
bodies fast enough. Yeah, not fun. But their weapons do tend to be good for ruining living organisms' days, so they might be a good idea to loot from them, or, you know, get off planet before they notice you. Definitely need to go more in depth later, but with Warhammer mods, this isn't even the final ones. I'm going to have to come back to this at part three, and you know, what else? I'm going to give you something adorable to cleanse all of those cursed race mods. Ah, look at it. It's going to fight for the Imperium and protect us from great horrors. Emperor speed, little one. <clears throat> anyway, I'd like to thank all our supporters on Patreon for helping keep this channel running. If you'd like to get early access to all of our future videos, be sure to go and support us on Patreon. You'll be able to watch videos before we upload them here, sometimes weeks in advance, so if you want that early access content, go ahead and do that. Moving on, anyway, remember to like and subscribe and let us know of any new races we should talk about for part three if we reach even more likes than last time, and hey, why not check out some of the previous videos? I know I would if I wasn't so busy breeding chinchillas or worshipping foxes.